Hello everyone, so we're at Coastal Cottage. Now, I've got a plan for this. Many plans do I have? Um, I want this to be my launching point. So the idea being that this is um, kind of... Because I'm trying to sort out my... With, with this, this is my other save, so not, not the main one, I guess. More the main one now, actually. The other one. Um, <laughs> but basically, this is basically going to be the area that all of my kind of Commonwealth citizens go before they head into Far Harbour. And also just looks nice in terms of the supply routes. Now, I've been experimenting this with this for the past few hours. Trying to kind of get a, a look that I like. And I'm pretty pleased with what I kind of come up with. Um, now, I've seen loads of people do kind of actual repairing the house videos. To us, I never think they look very good. And then I tried it as well. And it just, just due to the shape and all the rubble and everything like that, it just doesn't look as good. So this isn't going to be repairing the coastal cottage. But rather, instead, we're going to be making, fortifying it, basically. But we are going to do the floor. Quick preface. One, the weather here seems to be really shit recently. So rather than just rage quitting and stopping recording, I'm just going to stop recording and then <laughs> continue back when the fog inevitably comes. Also, as a lot of you may know, I live in London. And it's basically the wire here. And I keep getting police sirens in the back, so sorry but someone's been shot or someone just decides to make a lot of noise recently because they won't shut the fuck up right anyway. So firstly, this has been a bit of a knob. One sec. Oh, God. Ah. Um, that. I've fallen in the ground. That's never happened. Oh, that's new. So first we are going to do the floor. I've just not got, I've just got this pillar completely in the wrong place. Get nice and close, Treacle. Nice and close. There we go. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so what you want to do, um, this floor is the part you do want to get very, very straight. And you're going to use that blue wall as a kind of, like the way it's fading through. When it matched up to that, and we're using that. Because you want it as, as straight as you can get it. And you also want a little lip, so you want it kind of coming out a bit more. I mean, you don't have to, just the style I'm doing it, I'm going to do it that way. That should be perfect. Um, I am going to be doing the cave, but in another vid the next video. Just because I kind of want to put quite a lot of effort into doing something quite cool down there. And... Uh, that one never snaps in properly. That one is an absolute nightmare to get. Can I get it? One second. Hey! No. But yeah, we are going to do the smuggler's cave. This is the idea. This is like a kind of a smuggler's den kind of thing. Bump bump like that, and can we do it there? Yay! Is that mud, or is it a big pile of poop? We don't know. It's a big pile of mud. Come on, you prick. I'm well aware I could just snap the all of one in, but shut up. That's way too simple. Right, so. Now, I've deliberately used these at this height, because it basically... I j initially I did do it so I was actually just using the long post, but it was a bit too low and it looked a little bit wank. Now I really hope I've done this the straight, because I tried to do it, I got really far in, I was like, yeah, this is looking grand. I'm cracking funny jokes, this is going to be great, best video ever. However, um, it was not the right angle and the post didn't work at the side, so I was all upset. Right, well, I'm not upset, I just swore a lot probably pissed off my flatmates. So sorry flatmates for all the swearing. I've been doing a lot of swearing this evening. I've had a really good day. I just fucking hate the fog. Right. So boop. Uh the up Yeah that's grand. Is it grand? You basically want it hanging over the sides a little bit. Yeah, grand. Cool. Cool 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 cool. It's a bit further out than I was intending it to be. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Everything's fine. Chuk. Open sesame. See, the idea being is it just it doesn't really work as like as it just I just personally don't think it looks very good as a reinforced building. So I just I'm not doing it like that. Have I done that? We don't need those ones there. That was why I was getting a little bit confused. Come up. Come up. Here we go. This is temporary stairs, by the way, before you say, Davy, those stairs are shit. I know they're shit, alright? Leave me alone. 
Don't be mean. Not very nice. Bump. Bump. See, this just wouldn't have worked without these posts. I mean, you could have done it with foundations. Because that's the point, see, if you wanted to kind of turn this into kind of a little fortress, you needed something to reinforce it. Um, some of these just aren't going to snap in, by the way. You can kind of... Oh, wait. Why? Oh, oh, this is going well! Those did not work last time. Yay! But, yeah, it, it wouldn't really... Oh, I'll use the big one, actually. Work. As a, oh, look at that! It actually worked completely. So that's kind of the, the look you want to go for. This is the main platform of the the fortress thing. Now, obviously, that looks really shit right now, yeah, because it's just this giant wooden monstrosity. It, it's going to look like a monstrosity, obviously, because it's a structure by me. However, it's going to be um, a, 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 different, a different kind of monstrosity. Personal preference on this part. I am not going to be using the barbed wire fences. Just because the barbed wire clip sometimes, it looks kind of wank. Whereas this is fine and sexy. Now, if you're doing these fences, suggestion, don't take the rugs off until you're happy with the placement, because it can look crap. So, b -b 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 let's get it. It's not too far in, but a bit. I can always move these around, can't I? It's all grand. I kind of want to just, if I could move that so I have to keep bloody walking around, that would be nice, and getting stuck on the, stuck on the stairs as well would be lovely. I'm going to highlight this again, because people keep not doing the rug glitch properly. It's always a good thing for me to demonstrate the rug glitch again, because I've gotten a couple of dozen messages recently, because people still can't get it. Or they and everyone's like, oh, it's been patched. It hasn't been fucking patched. Get good. Okay, so basically, sort of thing. The best way, if you're struggling with a rug glitch, get it on a slope. Any slope. I put it on the rock. Rocks are good. Not too high, but anything like this. Get on a slope. Seize the rug. It's going over the slope. And that way it's easy for you to see when it's on. Gorgeous, look at that. Oh, look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful! So it does still work, yeah? So shut up. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I'm going to have that one there, I think. Like that. Cool, grand. Oh, and also, because I'm able to think, it only works for things that don't snap. Like, I, I think there might be a couple of exceptions to the rule, but if if something snaps, like a, a normal building piece, the, the rug glitch just will not work for it. For whatever reason, just as the way the game identifies them means it doesn't work. I might actually move these around, because I can use the corner pieces, can't I, instead? you do want a few of these so let's just move you let's put you out there for a second shall we and we'll put the corner pieces in instead and we'll use these ones here to plug in gaps it's it's quite i'm quite pleased with my plan i haven't built the whole thing i pretty much well, whenever i be whenever i do something like this i just kind of vaguely build and think yeah that'll work i'll do that but this should be rather sexy. I might have to use an extra rug because the corner pieces are a pain in the knob. A bit wank, really. You can always see when it's working because it pops up. It hops, basically. Yeah, whenever it hops, look out for the hop. Yeah, that's actually better. I'll do it that way. Then we can plug over the ends. Yeah, grand. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of like a funky little fort, basically. Tis the plan. That may or may not work. Also, I'm building it in real time, just because I felt like it. And I think with this one, it's a little bit fiddly. I didn't want to kind of do it, you know, in um in all sped up hyper video. Because you and I might get confused. And also, when I tend to do those videos, often I get a little bit carried away. And then I have, like, three hours worth of footage that I have to kind of chop down. And that's not fun. But the good thing about this one is you can make it look a little bit shit, I guess. 
you could almost argue this. You could have this as a. My idea was this could be kind of like a smuggler's cove kind of situation. So. The idea being, these aren't pirates or that kind of thing. Oh, you prick. But at the same time, a bit rough and ready sorts. At least rough and ready waves. <laughs> bit rough and ready. <laughs> Sounds like a really dodgy English porno. <laughs> rough and ready. Oh, God. It's only Monday. Well, actually, it's Monday for another 33 minutes. After that, I have no excuse because it'll then be Tuesday. Right, that'll do. I plugged that in there so it, it doesn't repeat the texture in the centre. Right. <laughs> Back to reinforcing my rough and ready little, I don't know, weird, creepy smuggler sex house thing. Right. Cool. Where's the other one? There you are. I say, where's the other one when I actually looked at it because, um, I don't know. It's been a long day. It hasn't actually. I've been really bored. And I'm going to cover up the window just because... Otherwise, it's not really going to work. But yeah, it's cool. There we go. Okay, so that's the walls done. Oopsie. Now again, I've deliberately... Oh, God, look at that. See? I'll do those in a minute. I'll sort the fences out in a sec. So now I'm doing the top floor. You can pretty much build what the hell you like up here, really. Um, I was going to do my incredibly repetitive thing that I like doing a lot recently. Can I put another one in? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Well, that's why I've got a staircase. Oh, it's still the staircase, actually. I love it when things like this happen. Because it works. It just works. So saith the Todd Emperor. That's not how it's going to work. Right. Pop stairs on... I think these posts kind of spoil me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm used to, like... When the concrete came out, I used to do kind of concrete support posts. And those of you remember where I was using the bridges as well when they first came about. And I kind of feel like, though these are freaking awesome, they do spoil me a little bit. Because it's... Look at that. That little manoeuvre there with the wood would have taken me a while. But maybe not looked as crisp. With the bloody... Concrete would have taken me ages, but looked very crisp. And with this, it took a couple of minutes, really. A few seconds. <laughs> Spoiling me. Honestly. Oh, is it getting foggy already? Look, you can see it creeping in. Fucking hell. Bloody hell. Fire. Right. I always recommend, on a kind of a random note, whenever you're doing stairs, kind of pay attention to the placement a little bit more. And it's going foggy in a sec, so we will actually stop. Because I find, um, I notice this a lot with my sanctuary houses, I was always having the stairs kind of come what would be the effective front of where you're walking in, right? So put your stairs on the side, because it does look a lot better, right? I'm going to quickly uh, dive off because of, you know, fog and shit, and we'll go back one sec. And we're back with temporarily nice weather. Right, so, up we go on the top. I'm going to sort out those fences in a wee sec, don't you worry. It does occur to me, maybe I should have done this as a sped up video, because I'm conscious of how long the damn thing is. However, well, it doesn't matter. What I'll do is, that because the little wee cave thingamajig I'm going to make won't take very long. Yes, I do like this prefab. Shut your fucking face, yeah. Won't take very long. We can kind of just do some extra details in the next video. Think of this like a let's build, yeah? Except it's not sped up, and it's not as long as a normal video. Wow, it's going to be about 20-something minutes, probably, but still, shop. Right. This looks sexy. Very sexy. Now, here's a cool thing. I did this in the Hoojima Flip video. That one. That one with the thing. Right. Oh, get in there, you prick. In the Pier video. Now, I always find that if you just slap a prefab down on top of it just kind of the 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 disconnect the, the way it looks like it's hovering basically whereas if you kind of just mix these textures up it just does a lot more it, it doesn't look so clumsily just kind of slapped on the top 
Right, next I want some kind of tower thing on the side, I think. Just to kind of like... Oh wait, no, don't do that yet. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes, I totally can. Come on. I don't, I don't even get... <sighs> Why? Why not there? God damn it. God damn it! Well, that's going to look bloody awful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Put that one on top. That's a toilet, David. That won't work. But I can put this on top. Um, this is going to be like weird little tower things. Don't know why it was making me struggle getting this so straight, but oh well. Kind of like weird little lighthouse towery things. I can put um, a lantern inside. Also, we're asking how to put the lantern inside. You just put the lantern inside. It, it's just really, really simple, really. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool. And we're going to have another one on the other side. They look really, really cool. I like doing them. Now let's do it again. I said, we'll be finishing most of the detail off. I just wanted to kind of... Because I find with this one, like, I've never built here at all. Like, in my other save, this is literally where I... If you must know, this is where I have all of my settlers. Um, or wherever I want to. Basically, when I'm trying to get a ghoul settler... Um, I basically just... Is it got a thing? It doesn't matter how straight, is it? Um, I just basically have, like, a big... Um, what do we call it? Like, settler recruitment building um, beacon here. And then I just... Wait until I get a load of settlers in, see who I've got who looks cool, and then I, like, transfer them out and then murder everyone else. This is pretty much the extent of my building at this place. So it's just loads and loads of sleeping bag. So that looks pretty cool so far. Let's add a few more things. I'm conscious of the time. So for starters, let's just, like, completely pull this stupid thing back. With this one, you've got to pay attention. It's got to be in line with the front there. I'm conscious that maybe I might not want to use this one, but no, I'll shut. Pull it back a little bit so it's not clipping through the thing so much. And then this side, pull him back, pull him back, pull him back. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that looks grand. See, look at it. Look, look at how, like, just freaking weird it looks. Right, let's add some few more details, um, and then what we'll do is we'll finish off in the next video. But this is my idea. I wanted it to feel like it was, um, you could argue this is raidery. Um, oh yeah, let me show you the lanterns real, real, real shifty and quick. But yeah, it's kind of got a raid revive. I'm thinking it more of a kind of like, good-natured but hard as nails smugglers. This is my theme. This is my idea. So you just, you can just literally just pop these inside. It's, it's, it's actually like, eerily easy to do. You can't put barrels in there. I could probably like, if you put like a platform, you could like probably rug glitch some barrels in there, which I totally might do. Um, but not now. That looks cool, because they just glow. Right, so let's just put some stuff over here, quickly. So it's not a very complex one, but it's... It, I just find with this one, it's just such an overwhelming settlement to think, what, you know, what the, what the bloody hell do I do here? Let's pop a wee... Ah, oh, crow's nest. I'm just forgetting where I'm going. I'm going here. But no, you actually yes, no, yes, maybe that might actually work. One sec, give me a moment. Yeah, give me a moment. Or oh, raise them up one. No, 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 that, that that works really well. That was totally intentional. Yep. Yes, it was. And I won't hear any different. Look strength is, is it? I'll do. That looks fucking awesome. Oh look at look at the way that. Oh, oh, beautiful. Right, okay. And I like to add weird bits in. 
So let's pop a little railing there, just to kind of... Why not? Don't be that guy! Get in there, you fucking wanker. Wanker. Bloody. Right. Let's have a gander at it now. See, stems me I haven't done very much. There's no decoration here or anything like that yet. Don't worry, there will be. Because I'm after I built this, I'm going to do like a kind of like separate tour and stuff. But this is a bit different. But look at it, right? It looks cool. Like just the the core structure there, and there's so much we can work with now in terms of adding decoration. We've also got my little smugglers hole down here, which I love because it is the one place that actually protects you from the rain, and also it changes the music. I don't know if you can hear that. It has a nice sort of bassy sound. Right, I'm going to leave that there because this video is way too long, but I wanted to do this one in real time. Um, tomorrow we'll be doing, like, like tomorrow, tomorrow, um, now that I've done the hard part, um, I'm going to do the actual cave, add some details, and just kind of, like, build up the rest of this. Um, and it should be pretty cool. I'm going to make sure I know how to do this completely before I show you how to do it. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yes, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns if you want to keep up with me complaining about the weather in the game and in real life um, and also just generally me telling you what I'm going to build and then scrapping the idea and posting a completely different video because that's how I roll um, and yes I will talk to you lovely people soon take care